All right guys, Papa Pepper here. Uh, if you saw, I pulled in quite a harvest of Jerusalem artichokes. We've already got two beds planted, still got some more kind of seed potatoes, uh, seed, not potatoes, but you know, seeding tuber, Jerusalem artichoke, sunchoke guys that we're going to be uh, planting in some other beds. And actually I sent some out to a couple people too who had wanted some. So these are the ones I have for eating, but they're not gonna keep very well like this as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm gonna do is simply layer them in some five gallon buckets with some kind of soily, composty uh, leaf litter, it's just kind of whatever was here when we were preparing the site for the uh, mobile home. And then I'm actually gonna tuck them underneath the mobile home. That way they're not really freezing, but they're there out of the elements in a cool place. That's the plan. We'll see how it works. All right, here goes. So at this point, I saved some for first thing we'll be eating with them. And then I've got them in three different buckets here. So I'm gonna grab two of these. Monster truck's gonna grab one. And uh, Sweet Pepper's gonna grab the good stuff. The crate. We're gonna run around the house over here. So now, just to keep them in a good environment and these two, um, like I said, never done this before. This is just what I'm thinking is gonna work. Um, some of that is a little moist, but I tried to go for the drier stuff. I don't want them to be wet as they're down there. So I'm gonna go get my drill screw gun so I can open up the bottom of the, of the house here. So this is actually my first time accessing the access point since I uh, moved this stuff here. But we're in. Nice and cool underneath there. No sunlight, no other stuff. So we're just gonna tuck these guys in there for now. Oh, tuck them in. Tuck them in. One at a time, son. I can only handle one at a time. All right, and then, I ever need them, I'll have them right here. And then later, we'll get our uh, root cellar up and running too. But that'll be a nice place for them out of the elements, stored up hopefully for the winter, doing well. And then when we need them, we can just pull out what we need. So that's my plan. If it, if it gets destroyed and this was a dumb idea, I will let you know. And uh, if you don't hear back from me, We'll call it a success. Right, kids? Yes. Yeah. All right. Pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out 
steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.